Okay, normally I wouldn't make you use Excel to do anything, but in this particular case, it's semi-useful for accomplishing the tasks that the questions refer to. <coughs> You're given this Excel spreadsheet, which is a database that shows you at the start of 2000 and 2001, et cetera, till this year, the start of 2013, these are the number of megawatts and nameplate capacity of all the wind farms in a given state. And you're going to work with this data in various ways. But one of the, thing, the only thing I want to show you here is how to do a quick and dirty exponential fit to the data. Uh, and let's just go all the way to the bottom and do the national data, sum of the total here, cumulative. And so what you do is you just highlight all those numbers like that, go up to insert, select line, pick one like that, and this plot will appear. Now, move the cursor anywhere onto the curve, right click, that's not left click, that means right click, which is the other left, so right click, to bring up this menu to say add trend line, select trend line, go in here and select exponential, and make sure that you select display equation on chart so you know what the growth rate is. So you do that, it's off frame, there's the whole thing now on frame. So select exponential, select display equation on chart, hit close, and there you will get the best exponential fit to this. And you might want to increase the font size of that to read it, so just you can highlight that, right click, change the font to something, you know, huge if you want. All right. And this is a number that you care about, 0.2589 or 0.26 or 26%. So the best exponential fit to this data uh, has a growth rate of 26% a year or a doubling time of 70 divided by 26 or about three years. So for the U.S., this is a relatively fast doubling time. And you can do the same thing for each other state. Uh, I'll just do one more example. Just take Oregon. And you might have to be a little careful about where you want to start this because there was no growth early on. So let's just start, say, there. <coughs> Old age sucks. Um, do the same thing. Highlight, insert, line, blah. There we get the thing for Oregon. Same procedure. Um, add trend line, select exponential, show the equation on the chart. You'd think that Excel would remember this, but it doesn't. And I'm not going to blow that up because that's about 31%. So you can see that over this time span, the weight of rate weight, the rate of wind energy deployment in Oregon is larger than the national average, which is 26%. Here it's about 31%. But you can see this isn't a terribly good fit to the data. Here it's above the rate. From uh, 2012 to 2013, it dipped below the rate. And so when you make extrapolations to the future based on a past performance, you really have to consider how well does this data fit um, an exponential increase continuously out to years five from now or ten from now. Maybe it's going to alter more on this linear path. And so that's a judgment call that you have to make from, from the data. But the basic point of this was simply show you that you highlight some data, you make a graph, you fit that graph with an exponential, and that's what we, you'll be using that uh, to deal with many of the questions. So that's it. Turn off this thing now. Where the hell did it go?